amazing God ministry at, at 65 Lakeshore Road. Um, we have the privilege to work with God's broken people in Niagara. God sends to us people who are needing him and are in places of desperation. Our counselors work day in and day out to support and as the Holy Spirit stirs them, they are able to impact the lives of Christ as they walk alongside people, as they hold their hand, as they pray with them, as they advise and guide and uh, and just love on people. Like we just love people uh, as they come to us. Uh, we count it a, a privilege. Each appointment, a divine appointment sent right from God. So uh, we've been seeing a lot of people in different uh, kinds of pain. Uh, we see marriages that are struggling and challenged. We see young people dealing with mental health and uh, anxiety gripping uh, situations. People who are in the depths of depression, young, old, children who have struggled with the impact of COVID. Kids that don't wanna go to school anymore. It's just a very, very difficult, difficult time and the pandemic has just aggravated an already very difficult situation. So I have with us today um, Naomi Reimer, who's one of our counselors who sees mostly the younger uh, uh, generation, anyone teen and up to about age 30, 40 sometimes. And um, she is seeing a lot of these situations. So Naomi is going to explain to us what she sees as people come in and what she sees as Christ impacts them. Hello, it is an honor to be able to share with you today some of the work we get to do at Niagara Life Center. And I have the privilege of being one of the counselors here at the center as well. And I often talk with my coworkers about what a gift it is to have a role where we can stand um, as representatives of Jesus mm -hmm. in people's lives and be able to minister to them. And um, I know one of the things that when anyone comes into this space, God honestly fills up the space. He fills it up so much. And so it feels as though we are ministering to people with the Holy Spirit um, in such tangible ways. And so whether people acknowledge God or not as clients, we know that when they step into this space, they will experience the love of Jesus. And so that is something that we celebrate and are so thankful for. So some of the work that I do, um, I get to experience people in a lot of different kinds of struggles and I'm journey with them through those struggles and help them find hope and um, healing and freedom and even sometimes receive the love of God as well. And so some of the different struggles that we've been really dealing with recently are a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, um, social anxiety. Sometimes people find it hard to even leave their homes. Some students are having a lot of struggles just going to school even. Uh, we've got um, parental challenges as well, whether it's parents with their kids or even some kids with their parents and some environmental issues as well in homes and, and some things that have been always under the surface, but now COVID has sort of brought them out. And now we're noticing that we have to kind of deal with some of those hurts and, and challenges. So there's a lot of heaviness right now, a lot of heaviness. And so um, we come boldly with Jesus Christ at our right hand and um, we try to um, share um, hope and the love of God with um, the people that come into the center here. And it is, again, an honor to do this. And one of the things I love about Niagara Life Center is that because it is subsidized, any single person who needs help can come. And oftentimes what I've noticed is, is that the finances can be a barrier for so many people. And some people who need help the most don't have the resources always to be able to do um, what they need to do in receiving counseling. And so um, thank you as our partners for supporting um, our ministry here so that we can love people, that we can share the love of God. And so any support that you have given us actually is a part of God's love um, for these people. And so we are just so grateful um, for how our our churches and our ministries around to support this ministry to help, help people get the, the hope that they need and experience the love of Jesus. So yeah, thank you so much for taking the time this morning. Thank you.